so hi ariman congrats for uh, such a good rank uh, rank 3 in cvt yes sir yeah so please tell about yourself from where you did your uh, undergrad and how your preparation started so what was your preparation journey all about hmm. uh yes sir so uh, sir i did my uh, grad uh, undergrad from delhi university shamlal college and i joined the earlier batch which started in march i think february or march hmm. so i got to know by some friend mm. and i started to do the notes and then regular revision which i felt was the most important part mm. and revision i think it was the most important for me to keep recollecting to keep remembering and then initially there were a lot of tests i gave i gave jam and gate and then uh this time fortunately we had a lot of time so i did lots of mocks and then dsc papers as well Mm. So we'll go slow in the sense that uh, uh, so for uh, for micro which books you followed how you made notes and we'll talk about each subject slowly. Hmm. Hmm. So micro the micro I think the no notes were the most helpful out of all, mm. and I didn't make as such notes from any other books, but I did consult some books like whichever doubt I had or to do some questions. So I did some questions from Varian. I did some questions from this one. Uh, I think Snyder. Hmm. These were the main books I followed. And you did quizzes and assignments also side by side. Uh, yes, sir. So uh, after the assign after the lectures, I made it a point to do the quiz just after that, hmm. and then the assignments which were quite challenging at first, but later. It went easy so i mean how you tackled that challenging assignment because what i tell is ke bhaiya thoda sa socho agar mm-hmm. nahi ho raha hai then see the first step and then try to do it wo nahi ho raha hai then see the solution and move on because mm-hmm. you have to uh, you you should be accustomed with various kinds of questions before you go into the paper so how you tackled it sir in the starting i just i i, I looked at it and then i didn't get it so i just saw the solution mm. but as time went on as, and during revising i actually tried to solve it myself mm. that mm. make some notes maybe there is some other method to do this or maybe some faster way as well okay so you were able to find those faster ways and other methods also uh, uh, so uh, not for all but i think there were some tricks that i thought okay i can follow this trick and do that So you did also variant workbook, or you just followed notes and everything? Sir, no notes only. Notes only. And uh, for macro, exactly what you did? Sir, for macro, the main part were the notes because there was lots of theory. Mm. So it, the theory had to become intuitive, sort of, because right. otherwise it was very difficult. And so I read some theory. I read some theory from Don Bosch and Blanchard. also from ahuja as well so okay. it was more, it was actually as a to complement the notes sort of that hmm. okay the notes are there and maybe i have to fill some gaps in my understanding and i can do that okay and uh, again for micro macro assignments and quizzes also you did side by side yes sir uh, okay now coming to maths and stats aha uh-huh. So stats and maths, it was purely. I think it was ninety nine percent all the notes and j- just that only. Okay. Because there was already lots of material, lots of questions, mm. and I didn't consult any other book. I uh, for stats, I didn't think because CVT is not that stats heavy, so I didn't prepare much stats for that, and it was enough actually. And for maths also, it was just only notes and lots of questions. Okay, for tests, what exactly you did? Uh, so the mocks or the which one? Mocks. Uh, so the Because mocks act. A few mocks. So the CVT mocks actually is first initially, I think there were thirty or something mocks. I wrote down all questions in the initial fifteen twenty mocks. While, oh. but uh, that during. The, when that that could be time consuming but yes but sir within the time limit i 
made it a point to sort of briefly just jot jo- down uh, what the questions in in what two hours uh, ha yeah, yes sir how can you do that matlab it pura pura question kaise likhunga main 100 question hai uske aisa pura nahi but just the basic what's the question asking and maybe some uh, it was there so that if i relook at it i can understand what the question was and that helped and uh, yes sir that surely helped and after the mocks i just made this sort of register and i used to write what was the doubt how much i scored and okay. like the accuracy and all and what i should do better and same thing with jam tests and isi also uh, yes sir jam test as well jam tests actually if is this is a sort of a personal experience that uh it was right after a semester examination so and i had a lot of backlogs hmm. so if anyone is preparing you should do that on time otherwise it will be very difficult so i did all those things i did the mocks i did the pyqs as well and all the solutions so did the I backlog also yes sir i so i made it a point that before the tests i had to clear all the backlogs hmm hmm good and uh, and uh, so how many hours you were studying while you were doing those backlogs sir in that period for a month i was studying for like 7 8 hours hmm and normally uh, normally sir i so i started with so, uh, less revision first of all i started with 15 20 minutes of revision and then in the later stages when i was doing the mocks and all it was i think around 5 hours 5 to 6 hours hmm so itna to karna hi padega matlab this Haan, much sir. you done every day hmm. yes so yeah. because even if you just do proper revision from a single sub for a single subject it takes around 2 hours but for me it at least because okay. i looked at it and just keep on revising i i want to i want you to elaborate on this that is let's say you are revising micro how much time it takes and how you revise micro because this revision way is going to be different from for different i'll be asking other people also who cleared it so i'll be asking them also how they revise and i'm sure that everyone will have a very different way of of revising it so elaborate on that hmm. uh, sir initially i made a separate register hmm. so i used to just look at the lecture and look at the quizzes and then in a separate register i noted down whatever i understood from that hmm. and then after a while i got accustomed to it i made did it for some lectures and then i started to write alongside the register in small spaces what i understood i tried to solve the questions myself hmm. and i think the quizzes were actually i had looked at the solutions so the quizzes were even more difficult after that because hmm. i realized that i have to do it myself now hmm. 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 so uh, if you can for me when i was revising it took me more than an hour to do that because i had to j- just do that again and again hmm. Hmm. for macro for macro econometrics those completely mathematical papers how you revised it uh sir for maths as well maths and stats as well i just uh, it took a bit less time i just looked at the questions and i highlighted the important and the difficult questions hmm. and so i i had made my notes with a black pen so i'm uh, so when i was revising revising i used to mark with a blue pen okay so so it became easy the more i did that what i got is that uh, while you are revising you are only looking at uh, just the blue pen what you have written as highlighter so yes, that you will you will be able to revise quickly as compared to yes, just revising the entire register okay that's a good yes, and uh, and uh, okay one thing which i always ask the uh, Although you have answered it in the earlier uh, earlier question, but two things I would do ask one: how many hours one have one has to devote to this, and secondly, uh, were you very near or away from social media while all of this was happening? Uh, yes, sir. Sir, I think the number of hours. I think it can vary for some person. Some people are really intelligent and they can do with less hours. but i think to really uh, for me to really get that in my brain to, to see the patterns because i thought cvt was all about 
seeing it very quickly because the paper is not difficult usually this time it was weird and so it was for me that if i see a macro question i should immediately see the link okay that's how the theory is that is how it goes Hmm. so for me it was around uh, in the later stages it was like 5 to 6 hours but in the earlier stages i was just revising continuously it could be, it could be less hours in the beginning like it could be 2 hours to and a half hours but in the later stages i studied a lot okay and uh, were you also solving doubts of others or uh, you were uh, yes sir i did whenever Some, i could but else also he said this that he also learned from solving somebody else's doubts also yes sir ah uh, yes sir i did whenever i could at lots of people helped me as well very good hmm that, because this was... this attitude is going to be very helpful in d school maine usko bhi kaha tumko bhi kehta hu ki d school akele par nahi hota matlab wo jagah aisi hai ki udhar ek dusre ki help karni padti hai whether you like it or not hmm. because there is no other way okay and uh, okay just tell me a little uh, is there any difference in approach in jam and in cvt uh such yes sir sir jam i think is uh, a bit more difficult definitely it's a 3 hour paper and you have to really sit there and solve it jam and... is 31st rank huh? yes sir ha oh. hmm. and so this time i think it was very surprising that it was sort of easy compared to last times hmm so it this time it became more about accuracy and mm. sort of the one or two marks but usually the in the pyqs also i felt that you had to see which question you had to leave and then you had to really work and it i think it really comes down to concept clarity in the end uh, that's what i saw the most benefiting me and in cvt cvt sir i think my approach helped me i think it was about speed first of all i thought okay this paper is not really the scoring type so i tried to do it 15 minutes before the time hmm. and then i went back and i had written down my doubts in the paper and i went back to my doubts and i just worked at them i had to guess a lot of questions so i just from what i knew i tried to guess best what could be the answer and uh, um you did all mocks and what were the marks which you were getting in mocks uh, yes sir i did all mocks uh, sir it was around uh, some mocks were sort of difficult really mm. but uh, in some i got 200 above some were easy some uh, usually i think it was around 180 to 200 mm. and some i got more as well some i got less also no uh, yes sir some really okay so mocks we generally make a little more difficult as compared to the real paper we had to uh yes sir so how i say went sir i say went well okay so i think that result is also going to come soon and what are the future plans i mean you want to go into phd or uh, job or what or you have not thought about it uh sir honestly i'm not very clear about it i think maybe uh, i have heard from many experiences maybe i could do job for some years and go into further studies as well many students do that i mean i think uh, uh hona bhi yahi chahiye ki pehla pehla year to par achhi tarah se karo uske baad mar pata lagta hai ki whether you really want to get into phd or not or uh, but there are some people who are very clear from the beginning itself ki hamare ko to karna hi hai phd man this way mm-hmm. chalo any other thing which you want to tell to the future aspirants how they should prepare what things they should keep in mind hmm. uh sir i think i didn't think that i could have a good rank i thought maybe i'll just get enough to maybe get in hmm. so i think if someone starts it looks like a mystery that okay this is maybe very difficult or you know this is some other kind of person but i think it was simple things i just did my revision i just i didn't do it to just get over with it i mm. just i really wanted to understand so that so if i didn't understand i consulted two three different books as well mm. 
so i think if you you have to be consistent and you have to be honest about it hmm. and doing it slowly and gradually every day yes sir Okay, so that is a regular if because if you drop the habit then it becomes very difficult to get back wo backlogs bahut zyada create ho jayenge ha sir wo to ho chuka hai chalo fir bhi you tackled it very well ha chalo all the best and congrats once again thank so, you sir chalo okay beta